Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video, I'm taking some Yonka skincare products for a test drive. So just before Christmas, I was at an event. It was the Image Businesswoman of the Year Awards and I was there with work and everyone on our table won some skincare products by the brand Yonka. Now I'd heard of Yonka, I'd seen them in a lot of spas and I knew that in various beauty therapists and spas that they use these particular products. I'd never used them myself. I knew that they were particularly expensive, I think. So I'd never really kind of thought to buy them. But we won this lovely box of products. And because they were a whole set of products that were like cleanse, tone, moisturize, mask, and there was also some oils in there, I just decided that I want to get more into testing out products. I know I did a couple last year. I tested out um, a thing for your face and I think I did one other, oh, and I tested out some hair dye and different things like that. And I just think YouTube for me was always a place that I would come to see people testing out things, testing out products before I bought them. So I decided to add to that and to test these products out for you. So what I did was I decided that I was gonna use the products for a full week for seven days. I filmed me before and I filmed me after. So you can see what my skin looked like after the seven days. What I'm also conscious of, and that a lot of people, if there was any products that I didn't get on well with, was that these weren't designed for my skin they were just given to me as a present so I did on the website today I actually looked up to see what products were recommended for me and my skin so I'll be able to tell you that but I'll just tell you that at the end of the video so first here are the products that I got so the first product that I got was this one which is the toner and it's the lotion yonka it's for normal to oily skin and I read up a bit about it and it tightens pores it makes your skin brighter refreshed it can also be used to set makeup or to freshen up makeup and it promotes a matte finish which is why it's good for oily skin. Because I got these as a present I don't know how much they cost but I found a website millies.ie and it, this which is I think it's 200 mils um, is retailing at 32 euro. Then the next product I got was the Lay Neck Toyant, Natoyant, I don't know, I can't speak French. Um, but this is the cleansing milk and this is for face and eyes. It's in a bottle like this. So just reading here, this product is really good for anti-aging and for all skin types. It's a milky cleanser for the face and eyes that eliminates makeup and dirt. It also exfoliates due to lactic and citric acids. So that's good for reducing fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. It also has glycerin in it, which revives and softens the skin. And again, because I don't know what the price is, it's retailing on that um, website, millies.ie, for 30 euro 50, and that's for this 200 ml bottle. The next product I got then, which was this, which is the Vital Defense, and this is a moisturizer. It is uh, antioxidant and anti-pollution. So this one again, I think this was for all skin types. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's best for all skin types. It's really good against envir environmental aggressors. So they say it's really good if you live in a big city to ward off pollution against your face. And it's great for anyone who's trying to jumpstart the anti-aging process. So if you're younger, you could use this to start. Um, the one thing about these is, okay, so this is 15 mils, this one. And if you're buying it, this was obviously a tester or something, so it's 15 mils. But if you're buying it for 50 mils, which is a good bit bigger than this, it costs 49 euro. So it's quite expensive for that. But again, this is 15 mils. And for 50 mils, it costs about 49 euro. And then another one I got was the mask number one. And this is an intense hydration repairing mask. And this one was okay for all skin types, but mainly for dry skin. So you see that I talk about it in the vlog, it patches of dryness around my nose and I can get dry around areas where I may have had spots. So this is a mask that was to be applied. Um, I think you only apply it a couple of times a week. It delivers hydration for up to eight hours and it's good for dehydrated skin. And it's, they say it's for all skin types. And then the other thing that I got, hopefully it's still in here is um, I got a little tester of this, which is the Phytoban uh, Relaxing Oil, and this smells incredible. Um, it's amazing. And I used it when we went away to Johnstown Estate, so that's in one of my vlogs, which I'll stick a card to up here. But um, I, did, I didn't test this out because at the time when I had the week, I don't have a bath in this apartment, so I didn't use this. I have used it since, and it's excellent, and it gave me the best sleep of my life, this product. So now it's time to find out how I got on. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom, this is day one, and apologies for the humming, but I have a fan, an extractor fan, because there's no windows in our bathroom. So, 
today, because it's the first day, I'm going to do uh, the, the full four steps. So I'm going to do the cleanser, the toner, then the mask, and then I'll put the moisturizer on. I think that's the order I'm meant to do it in. Oh no, I'm wrong. So I think the mask is like, because it's an intense hydration repairing one, I think I just use the mask and not moisturizer today, and then the other days I use the moisturizer. So I'm going to give that a go. So the first thing, the first product that I'm going to use will be and uh, this one, which is the cleansing milk. So the instructions are that you just uh, apply some of the milk with your fingertips and then rinse off with water. So I will do that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a cloth because of the fact that I'm always paranoid I won't have got it all off. So I'm using hot water, well warm water, and I'm just gonna put it all over my face. So I'm using about that amount. This smells and feels incredible and if you can see like I would have I didn't take my makeup off properly last night going to bed so you can kind of see like the mascara when you rub your eyes like the mascara has started to lift up which is really good um, and it just feels really silky soft and they just like if you're if you're near young products just go in and smell them in a shop it smells amazing and then I'm gonna rinse it off my face dry and as you can see I get this like redness patch on my nose so while I do have oily skin I have more combination skin and um, which is why that I want to use that hydrating mask as a first thing that I use because this is driving me insane it is like I'm like Rudolph but um, in general after using that my skin feels really smooth really soft I think it looks quite plump and quite nice and there's no real difference to any of the acne parts that I have, but it feels, mm, that feels incredible. So the next step then is that you use the toner. So with this again, you spray in the morning and the evening after cleansing, and then you massage the excess in using kind of like a tapping technique. So here goes. So I have no idea how much of that I'm supposed to use, but I put a good bit on and I'm just gonna tap it all in. So again, that just smells incredible. It's a really refreshing feeling on my skin. My skin doesn't feel any way like tight or dry, but it hasn't been on for very long. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm actually gonna leave it for a few minutes just to see what that's like. And then I'm gonna come back and do the third step of the cleansing just to see. Uh, so I've left this on for a couple of minutes and it's meant to tighten your pores which I think it has done somewhat but my skin just still doesn't feel tight my lips feel a tiny bit tight but that's because it's really um it's really cold weather at the moment but in general my skin doesn't feel any way tight um, and as I said I was going to use a mask but it says you need to leave it on for 30 to 60 minutes before kind of before blotting it and probably doing anything else with your face and I need to put makeup on so I can record the intro to this video and another video. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the Vital Defense moisturizer and see how that goes. And I'm gonna use the uh, mask maybe tonight or tomorrow if I'm not doing anything for a couple of hours. And I will record that and let you know how it goes. This is the Vital Defense moisturizer and you apply in the morning after cleansing and spraying on the lotion, so. I'm gonna do that now. And that smells really nice. There's a kind of a citrusy scent in it. Um, again, I'm just gonna leave it sit for about 20 minutes, sink into my skin before I put makeup on. But like, it's really creamy, really, really smooth. My skin just feels really good after that cleanser so um yes yeah, so that's day one and i'm interested to see how this goes so i'm going to do this for seven full days unless i get some sort of horrific breakout which is possible my skin is very sensitive and it might not suit it but if that happens i will document that and it might necessarily be some problem with the product it could just be me using too much so this is my skin today so i'm just in from a night out and 
usually I just sort of like run some micellar water over my skin but I made the effort of using my cleanser um my skin looks a bit wicked in this light but it's actually not that bad these spots here have just come up red and that's only because I was scrubbing up my face um but again I just used the cleansing milk the toner spray and then I just used the moisturizer I was going to use the mask but I'd like to I'm really tired so I'm going to go to sleep and I just wanted to I want to use the mask maybe in the morning when I can see the results of it and um, this moisturizer that I do use it says to apply in the morning so I think long term like this is a day moisturizer as opposed to a night moisturizer I'm going to have a look on their website to see if they have a night moisturizer but for just for the purposes of this week-long experiment I'm just going to use this at night um but yeah I'm still loving the creamy texture of the cleanser it just makes me want to touch my face all the time and uh, when I was watching that video back I realized that not only do I have a stain on my jumper I'm also wearing it back to front so today is Monday so I've been using this for three days three full days so morning and evening and I still haven't got around to trying the mask so I'm actually going to try it now if I remember correctly it says that yeah so it's best for dry slash all skin types so as I said before I have combination skin I would have I have like this weird dry patch on my nose which actually since I've started using these products um I think my dry patch might be gone which I've just noticed and I haven't been using them very long I still do find that makeup uh, doesn't cling to that area as well but definitely since I started using it I'm not getting as much redness but this mask is intense hydration repairing so even though I don't have dry skin totally I just have dry patches I'm going to give it a go anyway it might not be for me but it says it delivers hydration for up to eight hours so I just think that it might be a nice thing to do overnight and um, it's probably better during the day but I don't think it really makes a difference so the directions for use are apply a generous amount of the face and neck after cleansing and toning which I've already done let it set for 20 to 60 minutes as needed then blot excess with facial tissue and use one to three times per week so if I'm still awake I will blot it but if I'm not uh, I'll just get it all over my pillows I guess it's got one of these caps on it and so it has like a floral aroma which is quite nice the moisturizer has this unreal citrus smell so good okay so that. to be honest it goes on a lot easier than the moisturizer. I find the moisturizer drags my skin a bit, but it doesn't really feel like a mask. It just feels like a really thick moisturizer, which makes me think maybe this is better as a night cream. And also as like an out, uh, an outbreak, a breakout update. I still have my couple of spots here and then a couple here, but I'm not particularly worried about them. I do tend to get like little pimples quite a lot and um, when I'm in work as well I sometimes lean on my face like that or put my hand on my face and I use a phone as a good bit so I often get spots around this area so I'm not oh yeah okay so I can see it's look at it I'm making very shiny so I'm using a tiny bit more of this now I've got some spots here so this will be a good test because I've got spots right there that are really dry yeah okay so that's actually quite shiny so that's why they say you can blot the excess off so you leave it sink in but I'm actually just gonna leave it sink in overnight and see what happens but all in all I'm very impressed with these products so far I just feel like my skin is like silkier and smoother than it's been in a good while and particularly as I was saying the bit around my nose actually I'll put a little bit extra just around there just uh yeah like that's pretty shiny but it'll be interesting to see if I remember <laughs> I'll vlog in the morning and and um, see Ooh. and show you how my skin looks before I jump in the shower Good night. Okay, so it's the following morning. Oh my God, it is so bright. Anyway, ignore my eyes, but my skin. All of that stuff is like soaked in and my skin looks really hydrated, I guess. And my skin would always kind of look 
moisturizer and um, when I got out of the shower my nose still is peeling a little bit but that is I don't know if I've said it in this video but that is air conditioning and when I went away on holidays that disappeared straight away and then when I came back it came back so it's just the air conditioning I think it's like breathing in and out the air conditioned air that's quite dry so other than that but then it's still not as flaky as it would be um, and I just think in general like the texture of my skin has improved it's a lot smoother um, I've read and I've learned a good bit about acne or skin that would have had acne and oily skin and it tends particularly skin that would have had a lot of acne as a teenager it tends to be quite thick and the texture is never really good but I feel like with this it's maybe I was just never hydrating it enough or something but like my skin just feels really young again I suppose going into my fourth day of using it I'm very impressed just ignore my red Rudolph nose one very good thing about this experiment and this trial of the Yonker products is that I went out for drinks tonight and drinks and dinner after work and usually I would just come home and either not take my makeup or makeup off or just put micellar water over it but in the interest of giving you a full review of me using it for seven days morning and night I took my makeup off properly and now and I'm gonna tone and then uh, because I might be a little bit tired or uh, a tiny bit dehydrated in the morning I'm going to use the the hydrating mask tonight going to sleep and then I should look lovely and awake for the morning yeah that's my skin at the moment it's doing pretty okay I've got a couple of little spots and stuff on it but um, I'm just a bit tired I think as well so uh, the day that I finish up this I actually am not in work so I should be less tired then so my skin will be better but I'm going to stick this mask on and this one here and then go to sleep. Good night. So for some reason I didn't record a final clip to finish it off but I did record what my skin looked like on the seventh day of using the product. So I'm just going to show you the two images side by side now so you can see and the before is on the left hand side and the after is on the right hand side. So a couple of things that you'll notice from it is that while there isn't a huge difference in the way that my skin looked afterwards, if you look at around my eyes, I used to get this redness around my eyes um, just at the corner of my eye and that had completely reduced from using the products. I felt that my skin, the texture of my skin was better which is hard to come across in the image but it was more hydrated, it was silkier, there was the redness and the, um, the dryness underneath my nose was completely gone. Also I didn't get any breakouts from it but there was no real change as you can see I have some new breakouts but there's nothing, they're nothing out of the ordinary. But in general I just felt that my skin looked fresher, my skin was brighter, it was uh, more moisturised and conditioned and I just felt so much better not wearing makeup with it. So now to give you my final thoughts. Number one, is it worth the money? Sort of. I think some of the products are worth the money but not all of them. And in particular, I think that the toner is 100% worth the money. I'm going to repurchase this. I think you get a lot out of it. Like I've been using this solidly for almost two months and I still have that amount left of it. The smell is incredible. I think there's like, should I check it? There's lavender, rosemary, thyme, geranium and a cypress is the scent. I don't even know what that oil is. But the smell is incredible. It brightens your eyes. It makes me feel alive first thing in the morning. Um, I'm going to try it out by using it as a makeup setting or makeup setting spray as well but this product in particular I think is brilliant also as I was saying at the start I looked up a couple of products just to see what they had recommended for my skin and this was one that was recommended for my skin so it's perfect for my skin type this product out of all of them is the one that I think is a hundred percent worth spending money on then one that would be kind of my second favorite favorite would be this one which was the cleansing milk I don't know if I would use it every day as a cleanser like I like it and it never broke me out but I just I don't know if I'm 100% in love with it again the smell is incredible it really does take makeup off but I'm just not 100% on it this one was another one that I looked up to see if it actually suited my skin type after I'd used it for the seven days and it does it's another one that's a really good all-rounder for all skin types and it's really good for anti-aging I do think that when I use this my skin is a lot brighter 
um, and my skin's a lot more moisturized but I'm just not 100% sure if I'll repurchase this. I think I will look for a different cleanser, but I'm not sure. Jury's out on this one. As for the Vital Defense Moisturizer, I think this is great, really great product, but I just felt I had to use a lot of it. Uh, so like not a lot of it doesn't go a long way, so I had to use a good bit of it, and it was gone fairly quickly. I'm also not sure if there's any SPF in it, and I like to use an SPF, but it does smell incredible. It has a lovely citrus smell to it, but again, I don't think it is worth the money for me. However, I did look up their website and they recommended a different moisturizer to me, which could be part of the reason that I had to use so much of this one. So the one they recommended was a uh, Creme PG, which I'll stick a picture of here. And that was as a face moisturizer. And then they recommended the Phyto Contour for my eyes, lips moisturizer because it counteracts dark circles and puffiness, which happens to my eyes when I'm very tired. So it could simply be that this particular product just didn't suit my skin as much. And I would very much be interested to try the other moisturizers to see because the one thing that this did do out of all of the products was this was the one that definitely got rid of the dryness around my nose. And since I've stopped using it, um, I found that the dryness came back very quickly. And then the mask, I love this mask and I actually use it a lot more than I probably should. I use it under my eyes sometimes so if my eyes are a bit tired and a bit puffy like it's not what it's meant for this is meant to be used once or twice a week but I just find the odd time I'll put it in under my eyes when I'm in the morning time and I and every couple of days I've been putting a little touch on the bottom of my nose and it seems to have warded off the dry skin. Uh, this one is also I'm just looking at in the light here there's still a good amount of it left so it does go a long way and you put it on and then you dab a tissue to get rid of the excess. So I've been able to do that. And I do find that like, I think, I don't know if you can tell in this light because the light's a little bit dim because I'm losing light. But I think that the my under eyes are actually a lot better than they have been. Um, and they've been all of like, I've got kind of fine lines and stuff that have disappeared. So this product, I think it's going to be a repurchase. What they actually recommended for a mask was for the night treatment was the Creme 15 or the Gommage 305 or the Mask 103. So they were the ones that they recommended but I actually really like this and I think that it would be really good as an extra tool. And uh, that is it for today's video. I think my very final conclusion is very good products, slightly expensive for some, but well worth trying them out, especially if you have some skincare issues. But it probably would be best to maybe go to a Yonka skincare specialist and find out what they recommend for your skin and get like a skin test done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me trying out a product that I haven't been given as a sponsorship or anything like that. I was just given it for free at an event. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more of these. I'm also thinking of trying out the Sukin products and a couple of more things I'm gonna take for a test drive. So please stay tuned over 2018 for all of those. And if there's a particular product that you'd like me to try out, please let me know in the comments below. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't. My subscriber account is growing and I'm so excited to make content for all my new subscribers and for my subscribers that have been here for ages. So welcome to my channel if you are new. I hope you enjoy the content that I'm going to create. And I'll be back with another video next Sunday. Thanks for watching.